好，第六第七条呢，又系问光合作用啦。不过今次呢，就唔系问 Kelvin Cycle， 今次讲做实验。咁第一幅图呢，睇下个装置先啦，就要研究下啦，喺唔同嘅情况底下，究竟棵植物做唔做到光合作用嘅。跟住第二幅图呢，就俾块斑叶嘅表面你睇，咁啊有绿色嘅表面同埋有黄色嘅表面。其实条题目就好直接嘅啫，就要我哋去界定返究竟啦。一棵植物要做光合作用，究竟有啲咩好必须嘅要素？光咧、水咧、二氧化碳啦，同埋葉綠體。咁而家 set up one 咧，其实都暗藏咗好多要素噶啦。嗱，棵嘢咧就梗係會俾水嚟嘅。喺個 jar 入面咧，又有啲化合物咧會吸咗啲 CO2、哦。跟住喺呢個水松木嗰樹咧，又遮鬼住咗化葉嘅一部分、哦。自不然啦，我哋就要知道個實驗嘅設計點樣幫我哋咧去 check 到嗰啲相對應嘅 factor 啦。而最後一個咧，就要 record 一下點液測試嘅結果。其实题目都俾咗你噶啦，就系、是、啡色同埋呢个蓝黑色。咁啡色就系冇淀粉质嘅产生，而蓝黑色就系有淀粉质嘅产生。而家啦，咁啊摆棵植物啦，喺个太阳底下几个钟啦，咁啊再做一做点液测试。咁睇翻 A、B、C、D 边个结果咧系正確咯。咁啊一样嘢咧，喺翻 diagram two 咧画一画俾大家睇先。见翻第一幅图咧，其实叶嘅呢一个部分咧个黑咪妈嘅状态嚟嘅，因为啱啱俾嚿水虫木遮住咗啊嘛。咁我查黑咗佢先啦。我哋就去睇睇究竟边个位置系做到光合作用，边个位置做唔到光合作用啦。咁啊，本身黄色嘅位置咧，由于佢系冇呢个叶绿体啊，所以一定系做唔到噶啦。跟住啦，就到绿色嘅位置咯。揸嘅出面呢个位咧，系照到太阳光嘅。咁即系呢两个绿色嘅位置咧，佢系做到光合作用嘅。咁喺个揸入面嘅呢两个绿色嘅位置又得唔得咧？咦，都照到太阳光噶、哦。不过啦。佢就冇咗啲二氧化碳，咁即係話都係做唔到嘅。咁即係原來到頭來呢，就只係得個心形嘅上半部呢，係做到光合作用嘅啫。咁所以啦，答案呢就只係 A， 就只有呢一個位置呢，係能夠有個電粉質嘅產生。而我哋再做呢個點液測試呢，就會測試到藍黑色啦。咁成條題目啦，做咗啲咩嘅變奏呢？第一款呢，見唔少㗎啦，就係呢，透過實驗結果呢，得出結論。例如啦，哦究竟呢，光合作用係需要啲咩嘅條件㗎？咁第二啦，就係分清三個 V 咯。V D V C V， 又或者去到第三 part 啦，就将呢个 M C 咧化成一个短题目啦，要我哋去解释翻，喂，点解咧？我哋要做呢个脱淀粉咧？呢度佢都有讲到嘅，棵植物咧，我哋要脱咗淀粉先嘅。啊，点解要咁样做咧？就系、是、为咗去确认得到我哋到最尾做碘液测试所揾到嘅淀粉质咧，系喺个实验嘅过程当中咧去制造出嚟嘅。咁記緊返啦，做 MC 唔係淨係做 MC 可以幫到你答短題目嘅。In question six to seven is about the photosynthesis topic. This time we are not asking about the Kelvin cycle. Is asking the experiment prepared by a student to study the condition of photosynthesis. And diagram two show you the leaf surface of a variegated leaf X before the experiment. So for the whole question is checking the concept that we need to identify the factor which are necessary for photosynthesis. Light, water, carbon dioxide, and corpus. So in diagram one, you can see that water is supplied in the soil. Part of the leaf is outside the jar. Part of the leaf is inside the jar, and part of the leaf is covered by the cork. And there is chemical absorbing carbon dioxide in the jar. And for the variegated leaf, so you can see the green area and the yellow area. Which is represent the presence or absence of the corpus. So we need to be aware of the experiment's design, which have to check the factors, and we need to recall the result of Aldin test. Because after leaving the setup under the sunlight for several hours, Aldin test was carried out on leaf X, and then there are two results: brown and blue black. Of course, we need to recall that for the brown, it means that there is no starch, and the blue black color represent the presence of the starch. Now we need. To determine which part of the leaf can carry out photosynthesis, and in the middle of the leaf, because it's covered by the cork, so that's why I draw it in black first. First of all, all the yellow part it cannot carry out photosynthesis due to the absence of corpus, and then for the outer part of the leaves, they can receive the sunlight, and then the green part they can carry out photosynthesis, and for the cover area of the leaf. Of course, they cannot undergo photosynthesis. And what about the green area in the bottle? Although they can receive sunlight, there is chemical absorbing carbon dioxide, so that's why there is no carbon dioxide available for photosynthesis. 
Therefore, only this area can carry out photosynthesis and produce starch. So that's why the answer is A. In any possible question variation. First type variation, it can ask you to draw a conclusion based on the observation. For example, what is the factor which is necessary for photosynthesis? The second variation may be asking you to identify IV, DV, and CV. For the photosynthesis experiment, surely you have to recall the importance of destarching the plant. So you can take a look at the diagram 1. It's given that it's a destarched plant with variegated leaves. So why do we need to destarch the plant before the experiment? Because we need to confirm that the starch detected in the experiment is produced during the experiment. So I hope that you can develop the mindset when you are doing the MC question and you are able to change it to be a short question.